Well, today in London, Andy Murray took on Novak Djokovic at the ATP World Tour Finals. And for the first time in modern men's tennis history, the year-end world number one ranking came down to the final match of the season. And here, uh, in this final match between Djokovic and Murray, it was two quite different paths taken to the final from semifinal clashes. Novak Djokovic dismantled Kim Nishikori 1-1. You know, 6-1, 6-1. Meanwhile, Andy Murray needed over three and a half hours to take out Milos Raonic in his semifinal match. So, you would have thought heading into it that Djokovic would have the advantage. But, you know, heading into the finals this in this tournament as a whole, uh, Djokovic said that if Murray ended the year right number one, he deserved it, which was an interesting thing to say before Murray had won it, but it was also a major sign of respect from Djokovic. And ultimately, Murray came out on top, and he came out on top convincingly, winning in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4, and it caps off uh, what has to be considered the best year of Andy Murray's professional tennis career. He capped off the season with 78 wins, 24 consecutive wins, an Olympic gold medal, his second Olympic gold medal in men's singles, another Wimbledon title, and really... Uh, just a banner year for Andy Murray to cap it off with this convincing win uh, over Djokovic. And Djokovic said after the match that he never uh, look, looked like a serious contender to win. Now, I'm not saying that verbatim, but I am saying that uh, Djokovic essentially did not believe uh, he would win this match, which is kind of shocking considering that not too long ago, Novak Djokovic looked like arguably the most confident tennis player ever. I mean, he was absolutely unstoppable. Earlier in 2016, Novak Djokovic held all four slams at once. So, in my opinion, he is still the best player in the world uh, on his day. But today has been Murray's day, and this has been Murray's year. That being said, I still think Djokovic will come back and he will dominate 2017. He will regroup. He will find a way to bounce back. But Andy Murray getting rid of Amelie Moresmo, bringing Yvonne Lendl back, has paid massive dividends for him. Now, in this match today, he didn't really have to you know, find that second and third gear that we're used to seeing him pull out in tough matches, but this match was far from the toughest match Andy Murray ever had to play. At times, he took the backboard mentality, just returning everything Djokovic hit to him, usually trying to get everything back against Djokovic is a recipe for disaster. But Djokovic is clearly having some sort of issues right now that are affecting his play, and Murray as he may be entering uh, the twilight of his career, or at least the end of his peak uh, pretty soon, it's very nice to see him playing at an incredibly high level because he has worked so hard, and that hard work is paying off. So with that, I look forward to seeing how the 2017 uh, men's tennis season plays out. Interesting note, though, uh, for the year-end ATP Top 10 rankings, 10 different nationalities were, were represented. Interestingly enough, no American representation. So, like I said, will be very interesting to see how 2017 plays out on the ATP Tour.